Janet Farrar is a British teacher and author of books on Wicca and neo-paganism. Along with her two husbands, Stuart Farrar and Gavin Bone, she has published some of the most influential books on modern witchcraft to date. According to George Knowles, some 75% of Wiccans both in the Republic and Northern Ireland can trace their roots back to the Farrars. Farrar has been one of the most public faces of Wicca, having appeared as a model for book covers and illustrations in several of the best read books on the subject. She is frequent as a guest lecturer on the subject of Wicca, neo-paganism across North America and Europe. So today I'm going to tell you guys the story of the day that I met Janet Farrar. So I was talking to my co-host of Mythical Musings, Aphrodite Child, uh, yesterday. And this morning I thought, hey, it's the witchy season, so why not share the story of the time I met Janet Farrar? I've been wanting to share the story. I just never could figure out a good time to ever really document it to share with you guys. Because it's always been a life-changing experience I thought was so cool and so neat and so funny so what happened was that as i mentioned in the intro janet farrar goes around different pagan new age shops and other places around the world and gives lectures and it was probably had to be about eight years ago i'd say nine ten maybe i don't think my daughter was born at the time and she was going to do a lecture janet farrar in the state I live in and somehow or another I don't know the story behind it really I don't really remember at least my coven leader got talked to the right people and was able to host Janet Farrar and Gavin Bone to stay at their house before the lecture she was coming in for like a day or two with Gavin Bone her partner and stay at the house, go to the place. So they were gonna be her chauff the chauffeurs. They were gonna uh, take care of the Ferrars, or Gavin and Janet as they were here. And so with that said, we had our opportunity to meet them. Really, really exciting time. Phoenix and Dragon is the name of the new age pagan shop that they were gonna speak at. Just to give you a clue of the area that I lived in at the time. Not that that's really saying much, but Phoenix and Dragon, I'll never forget. And so my coven leader said that if you want to meet the Ferrar, the Ferrars, I call them the Ferrars, but it was just Gavin Bone and Janet again, um, bring something for breakfast. And I remember that they like bagels, that they like fruit trays and fresh fruit. I remember that because that's what I volunteered to bring in to meet Janet Farrar. I didn't want to come empty handed and just show up and take, take, take. I always like to give. And so for those that love Janet Farrar and respect her and think of her highly as I do, a little nice bit of trivia, what they like to eat. <laughs> you know, some people like to know what celebrities like because she's a celebrity in the pagan and wicked community for sure. And fresh fruit and bagels. I remember that. And so my wife and I got some fresh fruit and brought that over. And we came to the house, knock, 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 knock on the door. And I brought it for the breakfast and oatmeal. I remember oatmeal was another thing that they liked. And so sounds like a continental breakfast when I'm talking about it. I know. And I walked in and that's when I realized that I get starstruck. I get starstruck. I remember walking into the, in the, well, I guess it's the coven room, but the living room of this house, 
my coven leader's house and I could hear her and her accent in the kitchen. Oh man, it's, it works me. I'm just thinking about it now. I got super excited. So nothing's changed. I think if I met her again, that this reaction would be the same freezing I would freeze <laughs> so she was in the kitchen I was like oh my god she's got that British accent so it's not anyone from where I'm from so I'm like oh lord she is here and she walks around the corner from the kitchen into the living room a uh, shorter lady for sure I remember she's about shoulder about shoulder height or so so definitely but it was her I was like, oh my God, and I froze. I got super nervous. I didn't know what to say or do, other than I did was able to squeak out and tell her, I was like, how much I appreciated you and all the work that you done. I was sitting there looking at her and she was talking. And what I was thinking at the time, I was sitting there thinking, this is a lady that is responsible for so much of what Wiccans today believe and paganism. So many books, so influential. If you are into Wicca, if you're Wiccan, have you, if you studied Wicca, this is a big deal to have Janet Farrar uh, standing in front of you. This is the lady I was thinking that I would see on YouTube of interviews, documentaries, the BBC has interviewed her. Um, She's been on talk shows and all that stuff. This is a big deal. And I, I and it hit me. I, I was like, uh, that's what I was thinking. It's like, this is the lady that I keep seeing documentaries of. She's right here. And I'll tell you something. Janet Farrar, super, super sweet woman. She's humbled. She's very humbled and not arrogant. After, for what everything that she is credited for, everything she deserves credit for, her and her husband, Stuart Farrar, and now Gavin Bone, who she's with and has been with for years and years now. Super, super sweet lady. And that's one thing I can take away from meeting her. I mean, you got Ger Gerald Gardner. You have so many others. The Alexanders, you have Raymond Buckland, Scott Cunningham, Janet Farrar, they're all, they're all on the Mount Rushmore's of Wicca and Paganism. They're all there. They are all there. So that's how high uh, she, in importance she is for those that don't know anything about Janet Farrar. And so, like I said, she was, for all that, super sweet lady. And I remember her telling me that she is just like anybody else. She's just a normal person, nothing to get worked up over. And that's what she told me. She told me because I was relaxed. I thought I was, was not relaxed. She could see that. I was starstruck and I was nervous around her because I didn't know what to say or do. And I st she was talking, I remember, don't really remember what she was saying too much. <laughs> Other than that though, that she was humble. A very humble lady to be that important so I took that away and from that experience and the number one thing I can say that I'll also never forget is that we didn't hug when I had to leave she could tell she jokingly because she could tell that I was nervous and I was like <laughs> like that you know instead of a hug or anything she put out her fist and we fist bumped before I left and so I can say that I did a fist bump for Jan Farrar. Oh man. I always, like I said, I've always wanted to share that story and it's witchy season, definitely the day before Halloween. And so, so that one's coming up. And so it's a good time, I guess, to share it since I was talking about it and that experience with Aphrodite Child yesterday. So yeah. I think that's the thing I can take away from Janet Farrar is that being as important as she is, how humble and nice and sweet she was, not arrogant one bit. And Gavin Bone, I didn't really talk to Gavin at all, not because I was starstruck, because um, he was 
I remember he, he was sitting on the couch. She was standing up talking to us, and then Gavin was on the couch talking to the Coven leader's husband. Super intelligent guy is what I would take away from uh, briefly meeting Gavin. Uh, you remember he, he had his hair in his ponytail, had glasses on. He was having a conversation with somebody else, but he came across as super intelligent. Also really nice. But it was something. The only regret I have is that I did not ask for an autograph or a picture. The reason being is I respected her space. I didn't want to say, hey, can I have a picture? Hey, can I have an autograph? But I kind of wish I did just so I could have it to look back on. But like I said, I was like, I, I, you probably get that enough. I don't want to do that to you. So a fist bump, that's good enough for me and the memories. And for me having this recorded, I can look back on this and think, oh yeah. Now I remember the time I got to do a fist bump of Janet Farrar. How many times do you get to say that? So really cool. Never met Raymond Buckland. Never met Scott. Never met Scott Cunningham. But I met Janet Farrar. Really cool. Anyway, guys, hope you guys have a good Halloween, Samhain, and enjoyed this video. And I will talk to you later, guys. Bye.